All right, so on to the tools that you'll need for this tools course. And the first thing I'm going to show you from way back here, here's the whole arrangement of things, is that drawing surface. Um, this is called, uh, it's a little drafting, portable drafting uh, uh, surface by Alvin. And this comes with a parallel rule, as you can see here, that slides up and down. And I can take this with me wherever I want to go. And uh, it also has a surface on it. This surface is called Borco. And uh, that comes separate and it tapes down to that actual surface there. And I'll take you on a quick little tour of the rest of those um, drawing instruments. Okay, tool by tool, this is what we're going to be needing here. This is called a lead pointer. And in it comes these various leads, uh, like so. Uh, and they come in various softnesses and hardnesses. So this one's actually an H, uh, just an H pan, which I like a lot. And it comes out like this. And in order to sharpen it, you'll need one of these, which is called a lead pointer. And this too is by Stadler. I'm sure there's other manufacturers as well that are that are good for that. And uh, throughout the lessons, I, I talk more about specifically about why and how you, you use these pencils. Uh, this is a mechanical pencil, very straightforward. Doesn't have to be very fancy. I use this pencil, I love it. This is called a Palomino Black Wing and it's just for freehand drawing. And of course with that you'll need a pencil sharpener and can't get away without uh, this uh, fine liner pen. I have my particular favorite, it's called Art Line. That's actually only 99 cents at my local art store, <laughs> Mona Lisa. And you'll need a drawing compass, uh, very, very simple like that. This is called an erasing shield and this will come in very, very handy when those mistakes start to happen. And have I talked about this eraser? This is uh, just a nice, beautiful, white, soft eraser. Some masking tape, and I strongly recommend getting drafting masking tape, not uh, anything else like painting masking tape. Uh, a drawing brush, uh, hopefully you won't have anything missing out of it. This is actually <laughs> seen, a, seen a few exercises. Uh, and then these are drafting, um, these are called architectural scales. This is imperial measurements. And then this one is metric. So again, when you if when you just go to your art supply store, they can certainly help you with that. Tape measure as well for some of those exercises towards the very end. And then some triangles or what are called set squares. So this is a 60, 30 set square. You don't need to get any larger than this because your drawing surface can only handle that size. And then a 45 degree uh, set square. And probably uh, the <laughs> two of the best tools you'll ever want is tracing paper. So this is a smaller roll of tracing paper and I this is the, the fundamental tool for any architect or designer uh, and that just helps you think through your ideas. And then of course the sketchbook. Now this happens to be the sketchbook that I use. I prefer a coil just because I can fold it back like that. And I'm using here um, sort of a, obviously a, a, a landscape format, but anything that you feel comfortable with. And I like to look for sketchbooks that have nice white paper as well. So constantly thinking out my ideas. And the ultimate textbook that will certainly support these drawing videos is by Francis Ching. Uh, he is the guru of design drawing, of architectural um, methods, and all of his books are just, uh, you want them all in your library. So this one's called Design Drawing by Francis Ching. And that should cover it for the tools course.